Welcome back to this episode of Inside Rick Athletics, and I am Andrew McCarthy. To my left, I am joined by the junior forward from Providence, Rhode Island, of the men's soccer team, Anthony Racinos. Anthony, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So you guys are 7-2-4 and four this season. Very good start. You start off with roughly a five-game winning streak, a couple losses down the road, a couple ties, but you seem to have gotten your legs back under yourself, most recently a tie versus Coast Guard. How's the season going so far? Yeah, I mean, we definitely started off well. This is my first year that we started off with a winning record, at least. Uh, we started off 4-0, and and then we had a tough opponent in Wheaton that was one of our ties, and then we had a little slump, but it looks like we figured it out. Six games on B, and we're just trying to climb up, keep going from there. We're nearing the end of the regular season. Only four games left. After Wednesday, when this interview will be aired, there will only be three games left. This yeah. Wednesday, you're playing who are you playing? Worcester State. Worcester State, right. Non-conference play, yeah. but the two dates that I have served on my calendar are the one versus Keene State and West Con. They're number one and two in the Little East Conference. Yeah. Uh, I guess you could say a prelude to the possible uh, Little East Conference playoff tournament later on down the line. What are you most looking forward to in those two regular season matchups? Yeah, I mean, obviously we have to look at Worcester State first, but going, you know, everybody's focused on that big game on Saturday, Keene State. They're undefeated so they're a team to beat we beat them last year to make the playoffs so it's going to be a good matchup I mean we, those last two games are really important it can define making the playoffs or even getting the top seed so it's going to be really important when the season starts to wind down like this with head coach Kyle Froberg does he like to keep you guys in the top of your game still going just like it's mid-season form keep your legs under you or do, does he try to wind it down just a little bit try to preserve the energy for playoffs yeah, I mean, we did rest a couple guys uh, against Coast Guard, so I mean, the tie was, it was good because they're a good team, but it was like kind of frustrating because we were like, we know we can beat them and like didn't play as much as we wanted to, but you know, it's smart. We have to rest in those regular season games because playoffs are coming up, you know. Last year we dealt with a lot of injuries at the end of the season, so we don't want that to happen again. Towards the end of games, especially ones that are pretty close, it, Kyle Froberg seems to have four guys who he trots out there when you need a goal badly. And it involves you, uh, freshman Cody Granville, and graduate students Brayden Cannon and Johnny Oliveira. Well, how, what does that mean to you knowing that you're one of the guys that coach looks to whenever you need a big tally? Yeah, I mean, this is a, my first season playing in a forward role. So, I mean, I, I know that I have to try to get goals, try to get assists, but, you know, we have a lot of goal scorers, like, around the team. So we have Johnny, obviously, you know. Big season for him. Braden, goals here for Johnny. He's Braden, Braden can score a goal from out of anything too. And it's, it hasn't worked out for him as well because of injuries, but you know, and then having Cody as well, big striker. He's a different guy than Johnny, but he still scores goals. So I mean, it's like you put your best guys out there to try to get a goal. We also have Tariq, who's a threat. So. I want to switch gears a little bit back to the first game of the season against Maine Farmington. It was the debut of the brand new alumni stadium, brand new turf field up against Maine Farmington. You scored the first, your first goal of the season. It was the game winning goal to make it two nothing. You ended up winning the game three to one. Take me back to that play. How did it feel? There was a lot of people in the crowd. It was a good night, brand new stadium. Everyone was there. It was a big day for Rhode Island soccer. How did yeah. it feel to scoring that goal that eventually ended up being the game winner? Yeah, I mean, so that was a tough game. It was our first game of the season for, in the new field, too, and so I was very excited. I, I knew that having that field would help us a lot this season because, you know, we, we used to have a basically a mud field. We would call it the swamp. So having a turf field where we can play and just enjoy ourselves. And, yeah, when I scored that goal, it was like a sense of relief because you always want to get that first goal out the way. And, obviously, having Johnny pass me that ball in the box when he could have shot, it was very... That's, what, that's how Johnny is, though. He's a pass first kind of guy, and he'll get you the goals as well. A couple of non-conference games left this season. By the time this airs, you'll be playing Worcester State, and you also have a game against Bridgewater State as well. And the two big conference games versus West Con and Keene State. Anthony, thank you very much for joining us. We hope to catch you later on down the line. And best of luck rest of the season thank heading you. into the playoffs. Thank you. My name is Andrew McCarthy. Thank you very much for tuning into this episode of Inside Rick Athletics, and we hope to see you next time.